All right, in this video cheat sheet, we're going to configure PIM dense mode on our network. We're going to start off with the baseline show commands of show IP PIM neighbor and show IP PIM interface Ethernet to see if uh, PIM dense mode has already been configured on the router. And then we're going to enable the debug IP PIM command so that we can see how things unfold as we enable PIM dense mode. Uh, on our network and then we're going to finish up with the verification show commands of show IP PIM neighbor and interface to see how things have changed now that we've enabled PIM dense mode on our network. So let's look at the network topology. Specifically we're going to be enabling PIM dense mode on the link here between router 2 and router 3. So just between, just on the interface here on router 2 on, and router 3 and we should see a PIM neighbor adjacency come up there once we're done. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with our baseline show commands on router 2 of show IP PIM neighbor and then interface and this interface for router 2 is the interface that goes over to router 3. So let's see if PIM has already been enabled and as you can see with our show IP PIM neighbor uh, we have the columns here but there's nothing underneath it and then when I do a show IP PIM interface for the interface that goes over to router 3 uh, I don't have any output uh, underneath that command either so obviously PIM is not enabled. So I'm going to now execute the debug IP PIM command so that we can see how things unfold and, and see uh, what the router is doing as we enable PIM dense mode on router 2. The way you enable any type of PIM technology, whether it's dense mode or sparse mode or, or sparse dense, is you go underneath the interface and you specify IP PIM and then you specify which type of uh, PIM mode you want to use. And in this case, we want to use dense mode. And I'm not going to go into right now what that means, what dense mode means. Um, the, uh, the configuration guide should cover that. So I'm just going to go ahead and configure dense mode on router 2 on the interface that goes over to router 3. And we immediately start seeing that we're getting some uh, debug output for this particular multicast group right here which is a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and go on, go on over to router 3 and this is the interface right here on router 3 that goes back to router 2. So we've configured one side of this link for PIM dense mode. Let's configure the other side of the link for PIM dense mode and uh, so that we can get a neighbor adjacency, a PIM neighbor adjacency across that link. Okay, so let's stay here on router 3 and now I, we already see that the neighbor has come up over to router 2, which is a good thing. That meant that, meant that uh, our commands took. But let's go ahead and verify that with our verification commands of show IP PIM neighbor and interface. And this is the interface that goes back over to router 2. And if you remember on router 2, we didn't have any output from those show commands. So let's do that here on router 3 real quick. And now when I do a show IP PIM neighbor, I see that router 2 is the neighbor going out my interface over to router 2. And then here's some timers right here, but we, we have our neighbor. And then when I do a show IP PIM interface on the interface that goes over to router 2, there, here's the IP address of router 3. Here's the interface on router 3. And then this D right here is the mode that this interface is in as far as PIM is concerned and that is dense mode which is a good thing because that's what we configured here IP PIM dense mode. So let's go ahead real quick and execute those two show commands back over on router 2 to see how things have changed and I'm going to turn debugging off. And once again before on router 2 we didn't get any output up here we had the columns but there was no output but now we do where we have a PIM neighbor over to 3 and also when I do the, the, the show IP PIM interface it's in dense mode. So that is how you configure IP PIM dense mode on interfaces in your network and also your verification commands. You do a show IP PIM dense mode under the interfaces that you want to run dense mode on.